Tafadhali usisahau kusubscribe, ku like na kushare. Kisha bonyeza alama ya kengele hapo juu ili kuweza kupata habari mbalimbali kwa wakati. Tuko hapa kwa ajili ya kujadiri namna bora ambavyo e, Jumuiya Afrika Mashariki inaweza kuzitumia e, hizi mamlaka zikali za mitaa katika kuinua wananchi kiuchumi na jinsi gani itakavyosaidia kupelekea kuwa na umoja wa nchi za Afrika Mashariki na hasa ushirikiano wa masuala ya kiuchumi kwenye mipaka na sababu hizi nchi kwa ujumla ni moja kwa hivyo kwa anaeleza kwamba mwanzoni wameanza kushirikiana kwenye masuala ya customs lakini wamekuja kwenye masuala ya kuwa na soko la pamoja lakini kwa pamoja kuwa na soko la pamoja kuna sera mbalimbali ambazo zinakuwa zimetungwa na, na, na zinatungwa na jumuiya Afrika Mashariki lakini sasa sisi watu ambao tuko hapa leo tunatoka kwenye zile mamlaka ya serikali za mitaa za hizo nchi tunajaribu kuangalia jinsi gani serikali za mitaa za nchi husika zinazokashirikiana na jumuiya ya Afrika Mashariki hasa bunge la Afrika Mashariki kuweza kutetea maslahi ya wananchi katika maeneo hayo ya serikali za mitaa na jinsi gani tunaweza wananchi katika serikali za mitaa uchumi wao unaweza kawa mzuri kwa mfano kama unavyokumbuka hapa Tanzania tunao ile makusanyo kutoka kwa mapato ya ndani huwa tunawajengea wananchi kiuchumi hasa wakina mama vijana na wenye ulemavu sasa wanataka kuangalia kwa ujumla katika kuelekea kuwa na jumuiya ya Afrika Mashariki ambayo ni ya pamoja wananchi watanufaika vipi hasa wananchi kwenye kutoka kwenye serikali za mitaa kwenye masuala ya kiuchumi hapa tutakutana na wataalamu kutoka nchi mbalimbali Uganda, Kenya, Burundi na sisi wenyewe hapa kwa hiyo hapa tutashare uzoefu mbalimbali kutokana na changamoto katika hizi nchi zilizopo changamoto zinazofanana na jinsi gani nchi hizo zinashiriki katika kuhakikisha kwamba wanatatua hizo changamoto lakini pia hapa kuna masuala ya kukuza demokrasia na kushusha kugatua madaraka kuyapeleka chini zaidi hayo yote tutashare hapa na kutakuwa na mawasilisho ma mbalimbali ambayo tutahusishwa na wataalamu kwa hiyo tunaamini baada ya siku mbili tutakuwa tumejifunza zaidi naitwa dr Irene Charles Isaka ni mkurugenzi wa sekta za jamii Jumuiya Afrika Mashariki. Mkutano huu ni muhimu sana na mtaona kabisa kwamba ajenda muhimu ya mkutano huu ni mwingiliano hasa kwenye masuala ya biashara, biashara ndogo ndogo. Mtaona kabisa kwamba wanaotekeleza uh, utangamano wa Jumuiya Afrika Mashariki moja wapo ni wafanyabiashara. Wafanyabiashara hawana mipaka. Wafanyabiashara wanakwenda nchi mbalimbali. Mbali. Kwa hiyo jum hizi serikali za mitaa ndizo zinazotusaidia na huu ni mkutano mkubwa sana tuna mashirikiano na shirikisho hili la serikali la mitaa kwa maeneo mbalimbali mbali. na moja wapo ni kujenga um, uh, uelewa wa masuala yote ya jumuiya Afrika Mashariki namna gani mwananchi wa kawaida anaweza katoka nchi moja kwenda nchi nyingine namna gani mwananchi wa kawaida anaweza akahamisha mtaji kutoka nchi moja ya Afrika Mashariki kwenda nchi nyingine kwamba bado kuna vikwazo vidogo vidogo visivyokuwa vya kikodi ambavyo vinawafanya wananchi wanacheleweshwa kuondoka kutoka nchi moja kwenda nchi nyingine hasa kwenye mipaka yetu jumuiya ya Afrika Mashariki tunafanya nini tunajenga uelewa hasa kwa wale wanaotoa huduma katika mipaka yetu na tuna kitu ambacho tunachokiita one stop border post ambayo ni 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 huduma ambayo anapewa mwananchi na taasisi zote zilizoko pale ili kumhakikisha kwamba mwananchi asichelewe lakini pia tunaanza kujitahidi kuwajengea uwezo hao wanaotoa huduma lakini pia na vipeperushi kujitahidi kuvitoa kwa lugha ya nchi ile kwa mfano ukiangalia kwa mfano Tanzania wanatumia zaidi Kiswahili kwa hiyo tunajitahidi sana mabango yetu tunayokuwa nayo yawe kwa lugha ya Kiswahili ili wana wananchi wanapovuka waweze kuelewa Uh, huduma zinazotakiwa kupata ambazo wanastahili kupata kama wananchi wa jumuiya ya Afrika Mashariki. Langu naitwa Gertrude Rose Gamwela na mimi ni katibu mkuu secretary general mhandisi wa East African Local Government Association. In local governments that's where the people are. Local government leaders are elected by the people. They speak for the people. They bring to table the issues that concern the people. And so in this respect if the ESC is looking at promoting regional trade then they must have that voice of the local leader to tell them what the people are saying to tell them what the needs of the people are to tell them how they can be able to drive this trade agenda in a better way to really make sure that it is responsive to the community needs we do not want the conversation to stop in the meeting rooms we do not want the conversation to stop in conferences we want the community to give it true meaning we want to see the local leaders represented on the table 
of decision making in the ESC organs. We want when the Council of Ministers of Trade are sitting, they are sitting with their fellow ministers of local government to understand how the local government machinery can be used much better to realize the policies that are made at the regional level by the ESC. We want the permanent secretaries, when they are sitting to talk about Jumia, to talk about ES integration, the ministries of East African Community Affairs, to sit with their colleagues, the permanent secretaries of local government. We want a permanent secretary in, in the president's office, regional administration and local government, to sit on that table with other permanent secretaries and tell them that when you make these policies, they have to be implemented by the local authorities. And this is how it can be done. This is how we can be made better. And this is what the local governments need to be able to deliver better. So we Tafadhali usisahau kusubscribe, ku like na kushare. Kisha bonyeza alama ya kengele hapo juu ili kuweza kupata habari mbalimbali mbali kwa wakati.